Hello, thank you for joining me for this interview. My name is Emrys Kissel. If I may, um, I have a couple of quick questions to start. Please. Um, first, may I get your name and what you um, did before you retired? My name is Leszek Hudzinski, and uh, for most of the <laughs> adult life that I have lived in the United States, I've been a librarian. Awesome. Yeah, it's a and very interesting and rewarding job. And if you wouldn't mind sharing with me your date of birth, just for the records. March 14, 1950. Awesome. Thank you. Um, so my first question, I'm curious, are there any um, Polish poets that have inspired you over the years? You know, too many. No poet, no poet is, exists in a vacuum. Too many uh, from the classical Polish poets that we've all met and read, almost met, you know, figuratively speaking, such as Mickiewicz, Słowacki. Uh, but I have to add a few more, like uh, Cyprian Kamil Nowit, Miłosz, Szymborska, Herbert, Gałoszewski, Wojaczek, uh, Wyspiański. Uh, what else? Uh, Leśmian, Bolesław Leśmian, yeah. So, as you can see, you know, I can go on. Many, many poets, yeah. Uh, you, you have to. They do share their gift with the world, and uh, you know, I have a big spoon and big mouth, and I keep shoveling their stuff into my mind. So, yeah. Um, what inspired you to begin writing poetry? Well, the fleeting moments of life. Poetry is a moment usually if well there are many different types of poems but but the ones that you've if you read sunday poems uh, sunday poets you know that it's a collection of brief rather brief poems and quite a few of them are about the the moment in in life could be a thought could be a you know uh, a poet stumbling uh, into something or looking at the window pane and, and, you know, in the bus and, and, and the rain falling off it and, and drenching the world. Or it could be, you know, uh, this umbrella that becomes a poem. So it, it could be anything, but it's, it's the fleeting moments that, uh, often prose fails to capture. And it is that in poetry that I think, you know, it's so precious. And it's here now, just like we are, and then it's gone. Of course, yeah. I, I do digital art, and I oftentimes am inspired by the, the fleetingness as well. So you know the distance between your thought and this perfect, say, paintings that you're going to do, and then the shortcomings that, uh, you know... Uh, <laughs> You see at the end, okay, there's always something that hasn't happened the, the way you intended. Poetry is the same. You know? Yeah, it's exactly like that. Yeah. Um, are there themes that you like, more specific themes that you like to explore in your own poetry? Uh, yes, they are indeed. Uh, one is the question of poetry itself. What is it? And, 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 and uh, the, by, the extension of that uh, answer, uh, a poet, what is he, he, his place or her place in poetry? Uh, the, what is the, the brick of poetry? Word, uh, its role. So it's the language. Uh, so about one third of my poems in Sunday Poets uh, are about these questions, and I'm trying to answer these, these questions. And uh, sometimes I question the sincerity of a poet. Uh, there is one poem about uh, uh, what is poetry, and, and this is the Stalinist times, okay, when, when people were writing. Uh, and then there's another poem that in which the poet is 
giving his life for his muse. So, uh, yeah, so th those are important questions. And I think, you know, every, every poet, every artist, I think, do ask themselves. Yeah, and, and on that note, um, in your book, uh, Sunday Poets, you have um, poets listed under names like Seattle and sometimes Shoreline. And I was curious, would you tell me about those categories? Well, you know what? The, these are not categories. Shoreline is a place just like Seattle, except that it's the Seattle's northern suburb. Uh, there was a chance for Seattle to claim it uh, <laughs> about 20, 25 years ago. And uh, we still have Seattle zip code <laughs> 98133, but they didn't want it. So it was in an unincorporated uh, part of the King County and uh, became the city of Shoreline, roughly about 60, 65,000 people. So I either write in, well, not either, but mostly write in. Seattle and Shoreline, and we are borderline Seattle Shoreline. So, uh, you know, going to work in Seattle, Seattle Public Library, uh, I could write a poem either in either location. Yeah. So there's no secret here, no. But it feels like Seattle, you know. <laughs> yeah. 